Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the chemistry station. First you'll need to build the chemistry station uh, and you will need the perk to build it. Uh, you will need construction tools of uh, 50 and you'll need a science of 15 and then you can get the perk to build it. Once you have the perk and you can make the chemistry station you will need a burning barrel some uh, to make the burning barrel you'll need forged iron and wood and then you can make a burning barrel go to the workbench here find the chemistry station um, so you can see the recipe here. You need a beaker, burning barrel, a cooking pot, a short iron pipe, and wood. And then if you have the perk, you can craft it. I don't, so I put pulled it out of the creative menu and put it down here to show you guys. E, target it and press E to open it up. It's works similar to the workstation. You have recipes over here. Some of them you'll need a skill book to unlock. So I'm going to show you how to make beer in the chemistry station. First to make beer you'll need a book called Tasting and Brewing. You find that, you read that, it unlocks this. Then you'll need to find or grow hops flour and you'll need some water. So uh, you're also going to need some fuel. Grab some fuel and put in here into the fuel slot. Then this will become ungrayed and you can click mix to make one beer. Or if you want multiple ones, you can select that, right? I mean, who wants just one beer? You gotta at least have a six pack, right? <laughs> yeah, really, I don't drink beer. Then the result, when it finishes, will come out here in the output slot. So as you can see, it works very similar to the other crafting stations, like the workbench. Fertilizer! So, human turd, nitrate powder, and dirt, then you, and you'll need wood in here, then you click mix, and you can make fertilizer. Fertilizer you can use to fertilize your garden. Moldy bread. Okay, for that you'll need the old sham sandwich. These finally have a purpose in the game. They've been around forever and just clutter up your inventory. We usually would just chuck them out or not pick them up to begin with but now they actually have a purpose so you need the old sham sandwich and some water so then you can click mix and you can make moldy bread well what is the moldy bread good for well it helps you make antibiotics snowberry extract now most of you are aware that you can make cornmeal from corn. In case you're, you're not familiar with that, just click on your ears of corn, click recipes, it will, you can click on cornmeal at that point and craft some cornmeal. So you open the chemistry station, you'll need snowberries and cornmeal, and then you can click mix and it will start to make your snowberry extract. Now what is the snowberry extract for? You can make a snowberry juice and the effects of the snowberry juice is that this drink helps you survive cold environments but should not be overused. I'm not sure what happens if you overuse it. I guess we're going to find out that pretty soon. Snowberry juice can be made like the teas at your campfire. 
you will need blueberries, snowberry extract, and bottled water. So to make snowberry juice, you will need snowberry extract, blueberries, not snowberries, and bottled water. You can then tell it to cook you some snowberry juice, which will help you withstand living in a snow biome probably, but or at least traveling through a snow biome because I don't think anyone really wants to live in a snow biome. It's too dang cold. Now you can find oil shale in the desert. You can make gas out of it, gas cans. Now you also need the gas can schematic or recipe. And once you have that, this will unlock and you can make... Now this is not new to Alpha 15, but I did not cover this. I think this was new to Alpha 14. But you can then make oil shell out of that. Herbal antibiotics. You'll need blueberries, mushrooms, chrysanthemums, nitrate powder, and bottled water. And you will also need the schematic or book for the herbal antibiotics. And then you can make herbal antibiotics, which can cure stage 1 infections and stage 1 and 2 dysentery. So this can be crafted in a cooking pot and a campfire. Other things, you can make regular antibiotics. Remember the moldy bread that we made with the chemistry station? You can either find the moldy bread or you can make it at the chemistry station. Nitrate powder and water, and then you can make antibiotics. It can, can it can it can cure infections and dysentery. You can also make glue if you have bones and bottled water. And no recipe is needed. You just have the ingredients and you click mix and you can make that. But once you have cornmeal and bottled water, you can make grain alcohol in the chemistry station. Now I believe that you can uh, also make that, yes, you can make that at the campfire as well. You can make glue, you can make antibiotics, you can make biofuel at the chemistry station and all you need is animal fat. It's really simple to make. So you'll need the gas can recipe, you'll need grain alcohol and biofuel, and then you can make gas out of those. No no more having to run and find gas at a passing gas. You can make your own gas. Look at that. See it made me a hundred gas cans. All right, so what else is there to cover here? I think I have covered all of that now. So you can see how this works. It's pretty nifty. Kino, pretty cool. We turn that off. It obviously outputs heat because my temperature is going crazy. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe.